Hey there, church family. It's good to see you today. Happy Monday. The Lord has given us a wonderful week, hasn't he? And we rejoice in God's goodness and his uh, loving kindness, his favor toward us. And of course, it's Monday here at noon. Let's pray together and ask God to bless our day, that he would send revival, and that he would continue his work in and through our lives. Heavenly Father, we love you and we thank you for the day you've given. And Lord, we thank you for the blessings of life. We thank you for your love and care for us. Uh, Lord, you are a good God. You're faithful and kind and true. And Lord, this afternoon we pray together and ask that you would send revival. Uh, Lord, that you would stir our hearts and bring us to the place of obedience in our Christian lives. And Lord, that you would bless us and use us for your glory. But Lord, we pray today that you would use this time of devotion. Uh, Lord, that you would stir our hearts and challenge us and help us be more like Christ. We pray it in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to our weekday family devotions. Uh, if you have your Bibles, please turn with me to Psalm 81. Psalm 81, as we come to God's Word here today, uh, we find a wonderful, a wonderful psalm. Man, these are all so good, aren't they? So very helpful and timely. And if you're joining us on our Facebook page or our YouTube channel, we thank you for taking the time uh, to be here today. Uh, go ahead and help us uh, spread the Word of God and encourage hearts by liking, sharing, and subscribing to these posts. And uh, may God use them for His glory. Uh, if you have your Bible open, look what the Word of God says in, uh, in verse number 7 of Psalm 81. In, Psalm, in verse number 7, we find the reference of God's faithfulness to Moses, His faithful servant. Uh, in Exodus chapter uh, number 17. But notice in verse number 7, the Bible says, Thou callest in trouble, and I delivered thee. I answered thee in the secret place of thunder. I proved thee at the waters of Mirabah, Selah. Of course, the children of Israel are in the wilderness, and there's no water. Uh, the Lord led them there. May I, may I always point that out, that God led them to this specific place where there was no water. However, for the children of Israel, they looked around and they blamed Moses, the man of God, for, for leading them there when it was God who led them there. And as we consider our lives, where we are today, it may be at a place where we feel as if there's a famine uh, or there's a drought uh, or a time of great desperation or despair. But Christian, have faith in God because we are where God has led us. And where God leads, He always provides and if you look here, and again, in verse number 7, mark the statement right there. It says, Thou callest in trouble, and notice, and I delivered thee. Where we are at this very moment in time in our Christian lives, uh, in human history, the Lord will deliver us. He will be faithful. Now turn back, if you would please, to Exodus chapter uh, number 17. Exodus chapter 17, and note what the Bible says in verse number 4 of Exodus chapter 17 and verse 4, the Bible says, And Moses cried unto the Lord, saying, What shall I do unto this people? They be ready to stone me. Yeah, they're going to kill me for, for why we're here. You know, there's, no, there's nothing here. And the, and the Bible says in verse 5, And the Lord said unto Moses, Go on before the people, and take with thee of the elders of Israel and thy rod, wherewith thou smotest the river, take in thine hand, and go. And of... The Lord doesn't tell Moses just to sit and sulk and bemoan his station. Uh, he, he says, go. Now take, take the rod in your hand and go. In verse number 6, the Bible says, Behold, I will stand before thee there upon the rock in Horeb. Who will stand before him? Well, is it not God? He says, Behold, I will stand before thee there upon the rock in Horeb, and thou shalt smite the rock, and there shall come water out of it that the people may drink. And Moses did so in the sight of the elders of Israel. And God brought deliverance, did he not? Where God led these people, he delivered these people. And Christians, sometimes, you know, I'm, pre I'm confessing this, I'm pre-recording this. I have no idea uh, what the election results are yet. All I know is that God will deliver because God is faithful. And no matter where we are in, in human history, God has always proven himself, hasn't he? 
uh, and from from the very onset of creation, from the very dawn of time, God has proven himself faithful to his people. And no matter where we are, no matter where we find ourselves, no matter how stressful time is or how uh, concerning times might be, friends, all we need to know is that God is standing before us and that he will provide, he will deliver, he's going to make a way for you and me. The only thing we have to do is follow him and trust in him and live for him by faith. And I want to encourage you today to simply have faith in God. Again, Psalm 81 verse 7 says, God says, I delivered thee. And most certainly God will deliver. And uh, just like he did Daniel in the lion's den, just like he's done time and again throughout history uh, concerning his people, his prophets, uh, God is able just trust in him today. Heavenly Father, we love you. We thank you for the day you've given. And Lord, we just rejoice in you, in your goodness, your grace, your presence, and watch care in our lives. Lord, we're thankful for the testimony of Scripture and the faithfulness that you exhibit time and again. Oh Lord, you never fail. And Lord, we pray that you'd encourage our hearts and help us to look to you by faith today. We ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, thank you for joining us today. As always, we love you. We're praying for you, and if there's anything the church or I can do to be a blessing or help to you, please do not hesitate to call us at 614-382-0585, or you can email us at info at pickeringtonbaptisttemple.org. May God bless you, and Lord willing, we'll see you right back here tomorrow at noon. God bless you. Bye-bye.